It's really an honor to be here. The privilege is mine. Uh, I'm going to take a step back and share a little bit about myself. Originally from Greece, came to Canada where I spent 13 years uh, for both all my higher uh, education uh, studies as well as working in industry. In fact, I even did a short stint south of the river at a small company called Pratt Whitney Canada. Um, and at the time, it was interesting because I was at crossroads. I was an aerospace engineer. I was fascinated with, ex with design, design of the vessel, whether it was an aircraft or a car, I was intrigued by design. And at the same time, the computer scientist engineering mind me, the, uh, I sort of got me thinking, what is it that makes this potato up here respond to designs a certain way and different, differently across people? So I was fascinated with the field of cognitive psychology. And I ended up going back for my MBA you know, with a focus on electronic business at the time and the PhD in information systems where my dissertation was actually looking at smartphones when they were first created. How do you design um, easy to use and useful wireless data services? So this was a sort of a background, but it relates to what Pierre Majoric spoke about, the beauty of UX. It's really an inter interdisciplinary field. It combines expertise from engineering, computer science, graphic design, anthropology, sociology, in an attempt to better serve the intended audiences, whether you're looking at co commercial settings, whether you're Amazon or a brick and mortar operation, if you're in healthcare, if you are looking to better serve individuals who don't have access to resources uh, by living in urban areas, who are typically underserved for various reasons, who are vulnerable based on personal circumstances. This is a field and a, a really a career trajectory that really makes a difference. I love in my own work when I help companies improve the user experience for a customer. But I can't tell you how it feels when UX helps improve the quality of life for a chronically ill patient. I can't tell you how it feels to make a difference in someone who would not otherwise have access to education by making it available to them through an easy to use and accessible technology. So this program that I was, I was very literally honored and jumped on the opportunity to apply for the position when I, I heard it being announced, um, provides an opportunity to provide the tools, the methods, the expertise in an applied setting, hands-on, that you can make a difference in the industry of choice. And I think Pierre Majoric probably touched on it as, as he mentioned, I, I don't speak French. I, I started my French lessons 8.30 to 11.30 every day of the week. So slowly but surely I'll get there. Uh, but it's a, it's a field that um, has significant application. And the program gives you the means in an applied setting. We have the standard on-campus program. And uh, for those who have the, the time and capacity to actually in, uh, participate in the program full-time, that's wonderful. But the introduction of the microprogram on campus, uh, which is a flexible, uh, actually intended for full-time practitioners by offering courses in late afternoon after 3.30 onward uh, in a manner that can be uh, complemented to the work schedule uh, is really a, an innovation in supporting the local industry. The aim of the university, obviously, HSM Montreal jumped to or responded to the needs by industry to uh, provide the skills, knowledge, and abilities to the existing workforce, but also to boost the local economy and attract talent to Montreal, which is really um, uh, growing and supporting this space like no other. The Tech Trois Lab that you have heard so much from Mark, from Sylvain, from Pierre Majoric today and uh, in the past is really the most sophisticated UX lab in North America today. And the beauty of it is that it's all packaged in ways that can be translated to industry practice quite easily. So all our students, uh, whom I hope I look forward to meeting some of them in the English track in January, teaching UX design and UX evaluation, have an opportunity to learn by doing and then translating that expertise into their own organizations after graduation. Uh, Pierre Majoric, I'll invite you to jump, come in and jump in with anything else you'd like to say. Uh, the open doors for the university is on November 10th. The webinar we're hosting is on November 21st. Uh, so I look forward to spending more time in those settings, but especially in class.